So the Arcade 6 was built right here in our facility. Uh, we did all of the design work, the manufacturing, the test, and integration all within our labs. So we have an amazing in-house shop facility with all sorts of machine tools, uh, Haas equipment, 3D printers, laser cutters, etc. And what that does is it allows us to do full prototyping and full flight hardware development of all of the mechanical elements of our spacecraft. In fact, most of the elements that went into the A6 all were cut out of raw stock here in our manufacturing area. 3D printing technology has been a tremendous accelerator when it comes to doing spacecraft design and test. We can turn around a part from a design to something that we can actually build and integrate very, very quickly. And that's all enabled by the in-house 3D printers that we have. EFAB is our controlled lab space area where we actually bring all of the electronics together for our spacecraft. We do all of our tests there, all of our builds there, and then it goes into the clean room. The clean room is our high bay area where we take all of the different pieces of the spacecraft and then bring them together for final test and integration. One of the challenges of testing a spacecraft is that it has to be tested in a relevant space environment. Our TVAC chamber lets us test the spacecraft in a thermal vacuum environment just like it was on orbit and that ensures that when we get to space it will work as expected. From there once everything had been tested and is working correctly it gets boxed up and is sent out to the rocket. Once we launch our spacecraft, we need a way to communicate with it. And what we've done is placed our ground station with a large antenna on our roof here at this facility so that we can talk to A6 when it's on orbit. One of the most important things about managing a spacecraft once it's on orbit is having an operations team that can keep track of it, guide it to where it needs to go, take the right pictures, and deal with any problems that come up. Our ops area is exactly that place where everybody comes together to control the spacecraft, see the resulting data, and collaborate on how we decide where to go next. One of the key choices we made early on when developing ARCID-6 was that we wanted to develop as much of the technology in-house as possible. And what that does is it allows us to really understand what we've built and how it works. And that's key when you're building something that's going to be going interplanetary.